We are setting up the water storage pool aqua dam. This is a three foot tall, 230 foot long aqua dam that we'll be installing in a circle shape or a rectangle and putting down a liner down the middle. And uh, so this will hold the water when we install the larger eight foot tall aqua dam in this tribal or tidal canal and the uh, we want to install the eight footer into this tidal canal here the tide would be coming this way and we want to install it low tide but if we're at low tide there's no water in here so we're putting water f during high tide into this aqua dam and as a pool and then we'll be uh, when we install the eight footer we'll pump water out of this uh, into the eight footer We'll also supplement that with tidal water as the tide comes in. But we want to make sure we have enough water on site to keep the aqua dam higher than the surrounding water all the way through installation. The water storage aqua dam has been laid out. It's approximately 65 feet long by 30 feet wide. The connection point is over on the right in the straightaway. Um, and then this is the perimeter that will end up holding our pool uh, of water for the 8 foot primary aqua dam. This pool is formed using a 3 foot tall, 230 foot long aqua dam. The pump intake screen has been put in. There's two pumps down below the bank, not the ones you see, and they're powering these two blue discharge hoses which are being inserted into the fill tubes of the three foot tall aqua dam. This section of the aqua dam is encased in a connection collar which forms a friction bond between the open end of the aqua dam and the closed end and this will, uh, this will give you the most um, stable connection point between two aqua dams or two ends of the same aqua dam. Both fill hoses have been inserted into the fill tubes of the aqua dam and now we're waiting on the plastic liner so we can do a dry fit, make sure that we've got the dimensions right on the pool. And then we'll start filling up the perimeter of the pool and then we'll start filling up the pool itself. Day two, we are unloading the eight foot tall, 100 foot long aqua dam using uh, lifting straps and an excavator. We have special 30 foot long suction hoses that will be long enough to reach into the low part of the channel uh, during lowering, lowering tide so we don't lose our water source too quickly. This is the water storage unit. It's about as full as, full as we pumped it up last night. and. Um, there you go, so the plan here hopefully is to uh, pump the water from this aqua dam into the 8 foot tall aqua dam to cross that channel first to block fish passage upstream so that will satisfy the inspectors. And then uh, we'll continue pumping as the tide comes in and fill the aqua dam faster than the tide rises up behind it. So that's the downstream side from the tide, from the ocean coming up. And there's the gravel um, structure, gravel structure that was built anti-erosion or something like that, that the salmon can't get up. So now the salmon uh, are going to be able to get up the creek and spawn after this has been removed.
the aqua dam is being spun so that it is uh, facing the right direction for it to unroll. There are two half inch ropes laid down beneath it which will be used to restrain the roll as the head of water builds inside the aqua dam. Before we can start installing the aqua dam, uh, the fish catchers have to come through and catch all the fish and run a net from that end past this end and then they'll put a stationary net in so no fish can come back and then we'll install the eight foot tall aqua dam. Right there. Two additional pumps are being hooked up to the water storage aqua dam. Um, due to a change in plans we won't be making a pool but uh, we'll be using the water stored in the aqua dam to partially and initially fill the eight foot tall aqua dam. The eight foot tall aqua dam has been unrolled and pulled down the slope. It's right at the top of the lowermost channel in the middle. The fill tubes are being prepared by inserting one three inch discharge hose into each fill tube. The hoses have no fittings or metal things on the end which could damage the inside of the aqua dam. The blue hose in each side is going around over there to the pumps, which is where we'll start pumping from. The pumps are now pumping, putting water into the hoses and into the aqua dam. But just a little bit at first till we get the pumps going and then we'll turn them on full bore. We've been filling the 8 foot tall aqua dam for about 20 minutes from the uh, water storage aqua dam on the top of the bank. We've prepared the four 3 inch pumps on the side of the bank to be ready to suck the water when the tide comes in and it's coming in. And uh, so now we just have to wait for the tide to come in so we can start pumping on our 3 inch pumps. Uh, there they are. And the aqua dam. The eight foot tall aqua dam continues to unroll. It's just about unrolled up the bank. Maybe there's another 10 lineal feet of aqua dam. It continues to fill. Uh, the four three inch pumps are pumping the aqua dam up faster than the tide height is increasing on the other side of the dam. The aqua dam continues to fill. It is about seven feet tall at this point. There's almost no water on the work area side and there's approximately three or four feet of water on the uh, tide side. So the aqua dam is not full all the way but it's full enough to control the water levels on the other side and we're continuing to fill. The closed end of the aqua dam wa was unrolled up the bank and also is filling. The aqua dam here is just long enough to bridge the gap between bank to bank. The aqua dam has finished filling. It is eight feet tall at its low, uh, from its lowest point, level with the bank on the starting side. The fill tubes have been tucked inside the outer sleeve uh, 
to help provide a little bit of additional elevation and for protection. The Aquadam is conforming uh, with ease to the uh, slopes present on the bottom, the mud uh, channel. And up the other bank. 